Hey guys, got something a little bit different to look at today. This is a grow lighting classic. It's a 10 year old now Mars Hydro. Unfortunately, the stickers are gone. There was Mars Hydro stickers on it, but uh, it's a Mars Hydro 2, um, a 900 watt. It's not actually 900 watt. <laughs> uh, grow light. Um, got lots of different spectrum. So lots of different colored LEDs. Uh, runs at about 430 watts, I think, this fixture. A um, couple of the LEDs have gone out, unfortunately, but uh, only a few out of the 180, so still worth the test. And yeah, I'm going to take a close look at it. Um, yeah, it's just a little trip down memory lane. A uh, customer gave me this actually when I started back in 2015, 2016. Um, gave it to me as a swap, as a part swap. Uh, I was doing anything to sell lights back then, so um, and uh, I still have it. I never tested it. Uh, just passed by it the other day and um, took a look at the date and went, "Wow, it's ten years ago today." Um, just by the by, if anybody out there has um, a history with Mars Hydro, Hydro lights, this is called a Mars Hydro Two. Just wondering, was there a Mars Hydro One? I don't know if they had a version out before this, but. Um, this was very, very early days in um, LED grow light uh, sort of um, uh, launches or models, generations. So uh, yeah, it'll be interesting to take a close look. So uh, yeah, gonna give you a look inside, put up for test as usual, do the spectrum test, power test. And uh, yeah, let's see what we think at the end. Let's take a closer look here. You've got um, obviously steel box around the edge the fans inside, I'll show you the inside in a second. Glass sheet on front. You've got um, 12 by 15, so 185 watt Epistar LEDs of um, different types. You can see the original uh, number there. Hopefully you can see it. LG G04 A180 LED 2014-03. Can you see that with the camera focus? Hopefully you can see that. Um, and uh, yeah, a couple of the LEDs unfortunately are gone out. Gone out. Um, yeah, not sure why. It's, it seems to be of different different color ones. Um, a few of them have blown. Looks like they've just popped or uh, overheated. Uh, but yeah, we'll take a close look inside now. So I've opened it up now, and you can see the inside. From an LED perspective, you've got the panels here. They are mounted to the back of heat sinks. See the fins on the heat sink here. And then there's a number of connections. So the LED boards um, are separated into different power um, sections. So there's one, two, three, four, five, seven leads there. They are all connected to these drivers here. So seven separate drivers internally in the box. And each of those drivers has a power lead for the LEDs and then an auxiliary to control the fan. So there's four of them are used to control these fans which suck air through this panel on the back, force it down onto the LED board and um, it blows out the side here. So fairly noisy, um, pretty heavy and bulky, a lot of drivers and a lot of wiring going on, but everything's still working um, in terms of the drivers and the fans. And it's not that noisy, really. It's uh, I'll give you uh, a listen now when I start it up. Okay, so I've powered it on now. Don't think you can hear much from the fan. I'll just put my mic right beside it. Now, can barely hear it, so it's pretty silent running, which is impressive, um, given all it's putting out. It's quite a lot of heat. You can feel the, the heat now in front of it. And you can see there's a mixture of blue, white, red, uh, infrared, I think, so dull red LEDs, uh, deep red LEDs, uh, some greens, weirdly, uh, a flickering one down here, and about, how many are missing? Uh, one, two, three, some look dull now because they're um, far red, but of others, I think there's four out, um, appear to be the white ones or the green ones, but um, yeah, it's running anyway. Horrible light quality, <laughs> um, horrible to be underneath. But uh, yeah, that was the way it was in the day. Um, so yeah, let's put it underneath the, um, let's put it hanging up and test the spectrum and the power output. 
Okay, so we're going to test now with the Apogee MS100 spectral radiometer and the app. So let's test the spectrum. Okay, so you can see there's a um, big spike in the blue there. Uh, possibly two different types, slightly different types of blue. Green and white LEDs there producing the green in the center. Then this big spike of red, but with two peaks. So there's one at 660 and one at 635 nanometers. Very popular red LED um, uh, wavelengths at this time, 630. And then you got a 740 spike with the far red LEDs. Not much going on there, but a little bit. So I'm going to test the power output from it now. The Mars Hydro 2 900 watt is rated for up to a 4x4 at 2 foot hanging height. I put in a 3x3, which I think still think is optimistic, and um, a foot and a half height. It's given a center measurement there of um, 650 micromoles. That seems reasonable to me. So I'm going to take 6x6, six six, so 36 measurements of the par in total and I'll let you know the results now in a minute. Okay, so here is the power map. I have taken the readings across that uh, three foot by three foot space. You can see here, we get 182, 197, 150, 150 in the corners, 600 about in the centers. Average is 325 micromoles. And uh, for the 419 watts consumed, the total power output, so the average power by the area uh, divided by the wattage is 0 0.63 micromoles per watt. Now that is very, very low. That is one of the lowest of any light, of any type of light I've ever tested. Lower than fluorescence, which are very low, lower than, so about as low as CFL. It's certainly lower than HPS, uh, 600 watt HPS, which this is supposed to replace would deliver um, about 1.2, 1.3 micromoles per watt, so about twice as efficient. So yeah, half the efficiency of the HPS that it was supposed to replace. Um, pretty shocking. Um, you can see why early LED adopters from HPS were so pissed off. And, um, you know, 10 years later, they're still <laughs> um, still uh, negative or suspect um, skeptical about LED performance, I understand. Um, happens that I did it myself, uh, buying stuff directly in from China, about, where are we now? About nine years ago, yeah. And it was disaster. It was, uh, spent a lot of money, spent over a thousand euros on lighting. And uh, when I tried it, it was rubbish. And uh, when I tested it, it confirmed that it was terrible. But uh, yeah, anyway. Interested, le interesting little trip down memory lane. Hope you enjoyed. Um, any suggestions on any other little interesting things that you'd like me to investigate, please let me know and take care.